Hello, in this video I just want to share some links and uh, firstly to Gardner's Signly. So this will be the first link. It's a shortened version of a longer book. Basically it's a dictionary of hieroglyphs and Egyptian grammar. Uh, the hieroglyphs were not pictographs in that each picture represented a word. There was also like phonetics so you could spell out words as well. So there's I can't um, uh, I have to rely on these translations. I can't uh, either read the hieroglyphs or understand the language and and put that out. So, but that's why I think you know. Well, these very learned, very dedicated people spent years doing this. So this is one way to uh, one of the sources you can use to bring it down. Uh, you know, just to store to the side and just have a look through even just out of curiosity or if you're a little bit want to go a little bit deeper and if you're into your linguistics and stuff if you haven't heard of them definitely uh, have two books now for instance we have the palm branch stripped of leaves which is a represents a year and also depending on the grammar the way it's placed in connection to one another they can have different meanings so that will be link number one in the description box that's from Gardner I'll also be putting Egyptian Hieroglyph Dictionary by um, Wallace Budge. Now that's uh, very, oh, it's like 750 pages, but where was it? Oh, oh, anyway, okay, I've lost the page that I what it was interested in um, showing. But yeah, you have also other uh, ancient languages m mentioned in, in here as well. But um, yeah, even if you're just out of mild curiosity, just scanning down, and you know, if you're a bit of a nerd like my, my, myself, and just uh, just having a gander, so I'll put these links in the description. And yeah, especially related because I've been especially focused on uh, Shesset and the the math, geometry, architecture, surveying, and some very interesting things at least for me in regards to yeah the measures and the symbols connected in there so yeah it's just, uh, just if you're interested you can download these if you know PDF free to download keep it to the side and you can always come back and have a look later just handy to have these types of things on the digital bookshelf so to speak if you can afford printer ink even better okay so with that hope you enjoy these have a good one uh, these two links will be in the description box cheers